Well, here we are in Marion Hill once again, and it's such a lovely day, not too cold and not too warm. And I'm standing here with Archbishop Zolili Mpambani, who is the Archbishop of Bloemfontein. He is also the head of the mm. Department for the Formation of Laity. That's got a much longer name, but he'll tell us about that. <laughs> Archbishop Zolili, you reported in the plenary session this morning. Can you give us some of the highlights of your report? All right, thank you very much, uh, Archbishop Breslin. We reported about first uh, the Daughters of St. Anne's because there's some things that we need to iron out, you know, with the Daughters. As we had the meeting beginning of the year and threw it to the board later on and we promised that we were going to report at this plenary session, uh, highlight a few things, which we did. And now, as we are going to have a meeting tomorrow with them starting tomorrow in the evening until Saturday or Sunday morning uh, to iron everything out. Excellent. And then that was followed up by the, by the men's union, which we held uh, at Lumco at the beginning of, uh, no, two months ago or something like that. So, and then followed by the youth. You know, and report on the, the World world. Youth Day. on the World Youth Day, yes. yes Fantastic. Yes. Tell me about the men's union. Uh, was there good representation from different dioceses? Well, uh, the representation could have been better. It was only uh, 15 dioceses that were represented. Out so of the mean, 29 of Out of the 29, of so 14 did not turn up. Uh, however, we had very good discussions, you know, with the men. Uh, as I gave also in, in our meeting here that... Uh, we ended up having about, I don't know how many men were there, but uh, out of the 15 dioceses, there were 22 different men's organizations or men's groups, you right. know, of different. So we spoke about that and towards the end, and then they were saying we need to have some focus, have some union of some kind. But then we said, we'll leave it to the next meeting. First, they must go and throw it to their bishops, discuss it amongst themselves and then come back later on, then we can talk about it again. And there's a family life meeting coming up quite soon, I think, is, is that correct? Marriage and Family Life Conference, yes. And mm. is that going well in dioceses? Do dioceses have structures for marriage and family life in general? Some dioceses have marriage and family life structures. Others used to have, but the question, I think the question that we need to address with the dioceses that have, even those that do not have, is the question of what do we do as the marriage and family life desk? Uh, it seems that's where they are struggling. Right. What do they do? What is their duty? What is their role? But then we have clarified this before. We'll clarify it again. So the department could possibly prepare some guidelines or some suggestions? Something like that, yes. yes, yes no, excellent. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. And thank you for contributing here. And we wish your department every blessing. All right. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much.